Wait, got it. Yay! <laughs> oh, it actually rotates based on. Okay. Cool. Uh. Hello. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Video James. I've heard Video of James. Before. Ah, hello, friends. Oh. It is. It, it it's game day. Is I am it? excited. I am also sleepy. I mm. lied down to just rest, you know, rest my eyes for a few moments uh, like, ago, and that few moments ago ended up being a couple hours ago. Damn. Mm. But, how uh, do I wait? How do I pick a color? Oh, wait, okay. Why am I? Oh, oh no! I need to recenter my. <laughs> I need to reset in my play space. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, Liv is going to be joining us from within VR. The yes. virtual reality. Yeah. I have a the virtual metaverse, doll. if you will. No, no, no. <laughs> you're, you're, Wait, I'm at the wrong place. Now. I'm at the wrong place. You're like, I uh, want to go back. Yeah, you're usually oh, no. saying. Yeah. I, I, uh, I don't know how to change my color. Funny. I don't do see her. Color? I don't see her like Sprig. Sprig does. For some reason. No, I do. Do you have a? Uh, do you have a little thing that's got everybody's colors up in the corner, or somewhere you can touch it? Uh oh. Meaning live. Uh because no. Because if you can, if you can press your own name, that lets you change colors. It. Won't let me. Dang. Huh? Is made of these disconnecting me connect. Yeah. It's still making me think that I want to run that one campaign using X Wing one day. I do like dog fights. Oh, why does it not want to let me click <laughs> buttons? Oh no. I am going to tie up my hair really quick and get my fingies connected. Okie doke. Oh, I have wait a minute. My oh, GD. Yes. I cannot extract you from the ground. What? What do you mean? So over here we have. Um, oh. You, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know how you how to get you out of there. <laughs> you dug in uh, deep. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm just imagining like fl flickers uh, s somehow like his he's buried only his head is visible outside and everyone just comes across him and oh no and they're like ah oh no ah! <laughs> this is fine ah. um so it's raining so we have a roof now a fun thing yeah. is going on oh, oh my the... goodness the mystery cart is stealing the grass. <laughs> Oh my god. How? <laughs> I figured it out. I got mm -hmm. him, but like, the gra- I, it cost us the grass. Oh. I mean, we can- We're gonna have to undo it. We're gonna- uh, 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 Jay, uh, Jay, we're gonna have to undo. No, don't set the grass on fire! There's a candle there! <laughs> grass knows what it did. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, we're gonna have to be- Burn it all. Oh, um, I, I, it appears we are in a different location in time. Never mind. All right, let's see if I can, <coughs> let's see if I can get, get him out of there. Hold on. Let's just how it loads in. I'm, I'm doing surgery here. Uh, can I, can I get, uh, per permission to... Oh, right. Object? Promote in everybody into the bait. Into the game. I can't even highlight him. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I can highlight the the little patch that I put around him. Uh. Mm. It's a mystery. Okay. Well, GD's stuck there forever. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay. Well. Uh, what if you hold on, yeah, hold on. Uh, unless of that. my twin comes around. <laughs> Yeah, it's be because the mo the actual hitbox of the model is literally just the coin at the base. 
and the coin in the base is behind underneath the grass. I it's can't target it under, aside the from the grass. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, Wait. um, this is Flicker's cousin, Bicker. <laughs> Bicker. This sucks. <laughs> the thicker flicker. I didn't, okay, I did wait. not think this would be a situation. If I hold the B button, I can move myself around. Okay. Oh, goodness. I am looming like a creature. What does this even look like? Ghost, ghost in the machine over Whoa. here. Well, I think Tabletop it's Simulator not... might be mildly crashing. Yeah, this oh, oh, might not back. be a... No. That's kind of back. Oh no, everything's falling. It's fine on my end. I think you guys are just having troubles. Yeah, it's fine on my end too. <laughs> Anyways, um, who wants to catch us up on last uh, episode? <laughs> well, where we last oh. left off. It's, it's, it's about one frame every ten seconds, but the world mm -hmm. is exploding. <laughs> I, I, I wonder if this is my fault. No, a lot I of think things it's just, are my fault today. I think the physics are are trying to disjoint everything from everything because mm -hmm. it looks like so. Uh, the grass is being moved, and the grass is currently colliding with like eight hundred different objects. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was it. The grass was. I was right. I imagine that was fun in VR, though. Back. Mm. <laughs> there, we recover from the rain. Like Hello, here. tiny creature. Soba sees you. <laughs> Hello. I'm just getting stuff, the stuff out of the way. All right. So, where were we? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> A lot. Where we last had left off, we had... Uh... Researched, we found some notes and things involving uh, the uh, great experiments of old that this period was in, and that we were going to be heading to a critical junction to the south. I think. Oh my God! You made like a tiny version of the village in in of Knife Point on the on the big map. That's cute. Yeah, yeah he did that. He's so, he's so tiny. He's so cute. <laughs> and since the main one seems to be a little bit more, is... we might use this one today. <laughs> the big map is yeah, can, just a white block work. for me. I can't see anything. I, I can make this work. Oh, that's oh. adorable. It's almost there. It's almost there. Oh. Red is so bad on this map. I just, I can't look at that map, it's, I will go blind. <laughs> <laughs> um, I vote for Sprig not to go blind. Yeah, same. Sprig, okay. please don't like go blind. White or something? You still owe me or super like samples. Discord daytime <laughs> scene? <laughs> okay. Discord, light, Discord light, light mode doesn't exist and it can't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Flashbang. Ah! Here, catch. Man, think fast, think chuckle nuts. When everybody was using light mode for pretty much every program, because light mode was the only option we had. I'm a, I'm a be honest. Of MSN and AIM. I'm a be <laughs> honest. I use light mode even, well, not now, but I use light mode even <coughs> when dark modes came out. Why are you like this? I don't know. I'm just lazy and I don't adapt well. So, you found a bunch of cool information. Okay, I think we fixed this, or at least good enough for now. Okay. Wild Vanishing card. All right, minimum, minimum disruption. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, 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 so. You guys punched a bunch of, uh, of Moderons, who, who then exploded. You guys, uh, found a, um, effectively an ancient mailbox. Inside the ancient mailbox was a 
correspondence, shall we say, that was, that, yeah, that looked like it was some sort of history book. Or study book, in, in perhaps. It's like a textbook. Oh. So we were planning on heading to the south for a thing. For reasons. Mm-hmm. Upon getting back to town, Flicker had uh, overheard something interesting and pulled out a book of nursery rhymes that, that they've been carrying since more or less the beginning of the adventure, but now actually had, uh, had enough understanding to realize that some of these actually were going back thousands of years in their, in their history. Thus giving a few interesting hints. And once back in town, I believe you had a nice a nice dinner. Yes. That is correct. And of course my brain is remembering that I had spaghetti. Spaghetti. Nice. Spaghetti. Some quality spaghetti. spaghetti. So this evening, this dusk is also when you, uh, the... Big CC. <laughs> this dusk is also when the, uh, mayor is supposed to drop off the next payment, according to the information you found from his office. The scale is so off. What the hell? But it is morning now, and you have a whole day ahead of you. And I think oh, you yeah, might no, have some was... preparations and communications to make. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, I was lazy with the animals. Just made made it a big chicken. You want to make a fuss about it? <laughs> big <laughs> chicken. Big chicken. Look, sometimes I think Silva of all of all people is should be the last person to complain about enlarged animal chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to pick up my my token. It's not working. <laughs> Yeah, you seem to have the ruler selected. Oh, how do I unselect the, the ruler? I'm just imagining oh. you're trying to pick them up with the actual controllers. They keep sliding out because it's no substitute for fingers. Yes. Yes. Soba has been chosen by the gods. <laughs> <laughs> the optimal experience. I'm sorry, I'm having fun. I'm really excited to get to try out Dungeon Full Live. Same though. Like I don't understand. I I've, I've been messing around with the um demo, but like I don't really understand it. I'm dumb. My brain's stupid. I don't even know what that is. Um, it's just a thing that lets you do like the same style of map, but it lets you possess your character and you'll mm -hmm. like. First person uh, VR or non VR on your character. Yeah. Is it neat touch? Mm hmm. Right, so I presume there was a conversation that, you... that was happening that we wanted uh, Sprig to be, that we wanted CC to be present for because uh, it involved them and their mechanics, which I'm drawing a blank on. It's, I'm sorry, it's been a bit. Was the forge? Oh yeah. Hmm. You have uh, you had a theory and, and plan for forging, and yeah, and then preparation for the expedition to the uh, to the swamp, and mayhap if you are if you are in fact feeling cheeky, you could meet you may uh, communicate with the mayor. Have you have you met this party? <laughs> We're all. Yes, I have. They're wonderful. Um. Uh, also, uh, did we? Did, did my shield? Did my magnetic shield finish? I think that's. I think that's what I was going for. Do I know? I think I had a magnetic shield. I asked the guy to forge me a magnetic shield or something. Uh, right. yes, that that will be ready. Mm hmm. Suppose we can go pick that up first on the way to the mayor's. 
Seems like a good idea. All right. Do, 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 do. Wait, we're we're missing a party member here. Yeah, here. Oh no! Wait. She just small. We're missing right. cuz. That's not cuz. Hmm. Oh. They moved really to the high map. elf. What's he doing here? Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm just looking at... It's okay. Okay, so. You wake up. It is a rainy day. But it's a warm rain. A little bit late in the season for, the, for it to still be a warm rain, but it is uh, quite pleasant coming in off the shore. Your colleagues will, I assume, wake up around the same time. And mm -hmm. your... Uh, your Associates are, are going to be already milling around uh, camp, putting, putting, uh, cleaning up and putting things away, doing, you know, adventurous stuff probably. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know how you start your day, not in like you know the TTRPG sense of well, I'm going mm. to go investigate this plot lead. I, I want, I would like to know more of the, on the personal side. What do you wake mm. up and do? How do you, how do you get out of bed? Hmm. I can start if you start. want. What was that? I, I was going to say, I could start if you want. <laughs> I imagine that Rodelac, uh, we're, we're in a, are we in tents or are we in like a hotel, uh, like a accommodations or something? Uh, you have a location, uh, your own home at the adventuring hall. Okay, so, uh, Rodelac is wearing, um, he's wearing, like, one of those blindfolds that has, like, the eyes drawn on them, but it makes him look <laughs> like one of those, like, a cat that's smiling, you know, with their eyes closed, like a happy mm -hmm. cat kind of thing. Um, and, uh, he's got, like, a nightcap on and, and like, proper pajamas that are, are of a very decent quality that are, uh, a slight shade darker than his fur. So it's more like silver than it is like white or anything like that. And he's got mm -hmm. one of those like bug nets around his bed. So like he gets out of bed, gives like a very long stretch, opens up the, the insect curtain, despite the fact that there's not enough insects for it to be a problem, but he has to make sure. And does like calisthenics in the morning, opens up the window, takes a nice long breath and says good morning to the birds and to somebody already that's uh, awake and probably, like, you know, flips him off because he's waking up a lot later than they are. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he, he turns around and pulls out, like, a, a small little manual to write in his dream journal because, of course, he's one of those assholes. <laughs> of course he is. Course he is. <laughs> I think g dream journals are fine, to be honest. But, yeah, but, like, they it's are. one of those things that, like, people that have dream journals, like, at, like, something you, like, write out by hand, you are a very particular dork. Like, <laughs> this... I, I have this distinct feeling that he, he's got one of those dream journals that's got annotations on it of, like, what he thinks they mean. I was like, hmm, perhaps this is a premonition, or perhaps a, oh. a traveling specter that has invaded my dreams and wanted to uh, relay something to me as an omen. You know, oh, no, now that's getting deep into the weeds. Now that, that's an even <laughs> very specific type of person. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but weirdly, we all know this person. Uh, yeah. it, totally. And if you, you don't, you might be somebody them. like it. I, I, I was going to say that Rodelac also totally feels like the kind of person who would have breakfast. I don't yeah, know why. Like, I, just, I, I just get that. Just. I I am in the I am under the impression that he would do that thing where like he he drink he takes he drinks tea, and then specifically like 
doesn't drink all of it so that he can uh, have the tea, like he can read the tea leaves, even though he's never read <laughs> tea leaves before, but he likes seeing what shapes show up and tries to speculate what they actually might mean. <clears throat> And at one point, maybe he gets too excited and drinks the whole thing too quickly and the tea leaves are gone. And he goes, oh no, I messed up my entire day. <laughs> this tracks so well. I imagine, I, I imagine he's looking at it, right? And just like, he's just like, oh yes, this must mean that I have a wonderful day ahead. So if walks by who can actually read tea leaves, he's like, it means you're going to have kidney stone and keeps going without saying <laughs> It's like, like he, he he probably does that thing where like he does some some things that tea re, uh, tea leaf readers like uh, you know div divinists would never mm -hmm. do like shaking the 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 teacup a little bit to read the leaves and then shake it again to read to see if it, something else comes up like he's like oh. a goddamn eight ball. <laughs> so at one point, at one point, Soma walks by and like looks at it and goes, "Why do your leaves say you will be pregnant?" <laughs> <laughs> Like, Congratulations! Got a pretty high occultism score, so like, but I feel like she could actually. Like he's got like he like uh, <coughs> what do you call it? Uh, Rodalak has a good uh, score. It's just it's one of those things where like it's not there are certain out. very peculiar gaps because he's just so sheltered. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I so I was like going off there. I feel like Sobo would be like the fucking opposite. Like she wakes up like as the sun's coming up. Like she's in her tent outside. She gets up. She goes to like the nearby river and just fucking like naked bathes. Throws like a throws a boulder at a deer for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but, like like very very like rural like like okay. not giving a shit like in tune with nature stuff and then just walks by Rodalak hat like. Her routine is just as long as Rodalex. It's just it's it's because she's not using any tools or modern things. I I like the idea that like that Soba walks to a river, takes a deep breath, strips down to bear, faces their back towards it, and then just backflops into the river. Yes. And by the time they come out, there's like a leech or two on their leg as they walk by. And they haven't noticed for like an hour. She Lim? then notice, she notices the leech after an hour and goes, Oh, lunch. That's why I'm so tired. <laughs> Liv, I, I, have a, I have a question for you, and you have three choices yeah. here, okay? Mm -hmm. you, have, you have three choices. This is very important. Mm -hmm. Choice one is going out in the wilderness and finding a river. Choice two is going into the ocean. And choice three is just going into the, uh, the, the little uh, lake that's in the middle of town and not caring about anybody else. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, I need to think. Hang on a second. <laughs> These are the hard choices. <laughs> I mean, I've already established that Soba does not understand social etiquette. Yeah. <laughs> and, and her tribe was very open about stuff. So, uh, you know what? I feel like, I feel like the pond in the middle is the, is the optimal choice. <laughs> it's, it's right there. It's fresh water. Is fresh water? Why have big pool of water if not for daily bathing? Why no one else here? It's just so early or late. <laughs> ba bathe while, like while she's it's already raining. like the sun like just barely peeks over the thing, and Soba's eyes just jink wide open. <laughs> oh no, that kind of, that kind of person. Oh no. <laughs> but like not because what? she's an asshole, but because she's just so in touch with like nature and like with, like living off the land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, My so I guess like everyone. Not used to wasting a second of daylight. <laughs> yeah, so like every so I guess that as everyone wakes up, there's just like this nine foot tall Goliath just like like just bathing naked in the pond. Come on in, water is fine. If it's too cold, can warm up. Incredible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, uh, um, oh. actually, I did kind of want to involve uh, Sprig in mine a little bit. Uh, I'm not 100%, I wasn't 100% sure on the routine since, you know, this is not something you often think about in complete detail. Uh, so, 
just for the sake of joking, you guys are, the characters are familiar with this, they've probably seen it, but since this is the first time that we actually talk about it, <laughs> I imagine being the toony inventor character that he is, uh, he wake, the way Flicker wakes up is, he, he pretty much goes to sleep with his helmet on, but he has an add-on to the helmet. One with two small hammers on each side. No. <laughs> don't worry, they don't hurt. That's what the helmet's for. <laughs> it's so, shaped like so... a bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So, so every morning, uh, the characters uh, kind of wake up as uh, after a certain amount of time expires, uh, the wind the wind up uh, releases the mechanism that causes the two the two tiny hammers on each so side to to start start sp spinning and hit hitting the helmet. <laughs> uh, usually, fo usually followed by by a, a small. And I don't think it picked up on it. I did a little bit. I think it got crazy. Maybe a little bit. Hello? I'm still here. GD? Oh, no. And there we go. Hey, there they are. Welcome back. I love it when it cuts out. I such Just in case, maybe it'll pick up. Pick it up. I did a little. You did a little, little something that time, but I couldn't. I, I think God. it's crazy. It, it, it's 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 it it there was it's a noise. Sad. I really, I am very annoyed when it doesn't. I just, I just want a microphone that cancels off background noise and makes my noises audible. Jeez. Anyway, this it, it was is like audible. Oh. Sorry. It, it, give, giving me like. <laughs> Give me PTSD here, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh. <laughs> anyway. anyway. I'm, I'm Look. not understanding this one. I guess what's the PTSD for? Uh, I believe it's, uh, he, he's suggesting that he has a flashback when he hears those, mm -hmm. the audible thing no you got it, yep. it's i i used to do work uh and I, I i used to i had to do business with audible at one point and they were they were not great people <laughs> oh really uh. like, uh. audible is like the audible is the audiobook equivalent of like a, a mcdonald's it is yeah it's it's, it's the audio content at, mill they are everywhere, they make it worse for everyone, and they actively just take money from the people that that are doing business with them. It is... Uh, sorry, it is a long story. It's all uh, good. Also, <laughs> also uh, point, point to Buck in chat here. Behold, my new invention! Behold, my new invention! The Nighty Night Helm! It'll let you sleep comfortably and wakes you early in the morning. Entire body starts vibrating from the violent <laughs> thing. Oh, yeah, I, I assume that you just text Avery out of bed as soon as it goes off. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, in any case, uh, that fall. Uh, after that, uh, after he st after he takes like a minute to stop vibrating. <laughs> after that, um, uh, Flicker does the thing that he is very much so used to doing from his years of. Uh, being a squire, and that's he. His first instinct is to uh, start cleaning up everybody's equipment, or at the very least, you know, the obvious equipment like weaponry. With it, you get cut in half. Hmm. That's the best sword. You get cut in half. You're kind of quiet there. You're a bit quiet. I have you maxed out on, on volume on my end. It's uh, yeah. Your gain is low. Why did my gain reset again? Your, your gains are non-existent. Yeah. Uh, someone skipped. Someone skipped Mike Day. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I set my oh, gain man. to maximum. 
uh, and uh, Flicker, the the most uh, time spent uh, that that Flicker does, eh, the most time spent uh, in terms of cleanup is uh, provided she uh, uh, would sprig at this point a lot. Uh, by this point, have would be allowing Flicker to you know do some cleaning on her chair. Sprig. No, probably not. Okay. Hmm. Um, That's fair. <laughs> no. I, I, I'm tr part of me is like trying to think of like... Uh, I'm trying to think if uh, he would... Uh, probably just leave it be or if he or if the chair is if the chair is dirty enough the instinct would kick in <laughs> to need to clean it <laughs> i feel like cc is very much a clean as you go kind of person so like as soon as it's messy or dirty she cleans it up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh yeah that makes sense uh so was the kind of person to clean as it becomes an inconvenience Except for her sword. Her sword she polishes every morning as part of her ritual. Everything else, uh, it's still worse. She cleans when it gets difficult to open the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, or if, like, she, or if, like, she's, or if, like, her, uh, her cloak, like, if she smells it and she's like, hmm. Actually, cloak on that would, note. Cloak would give a, cloak would give away to present. I just to clean. On that note, I have a question for Sova. Mm hmm. Um, do you. How often do you check? This is not me asking like you in the DM. Oh, how often? No, this is not me like D a DM question. How often do you check on the uh, the scroll and in, in the, the scroll inside of your sword that's hidden? Uh, literally every day. Like when she when she goes to clean the sword, the checking to make sure the scroll is still there is like part of that. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that's not a probing uh, question. I swear. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, Silva, Silva checks to make sure the scroll is still in the sword. As she's and and she checks to make sure the ingot is still in her is still in her pack. Mm -hmm. Uh. After after uh, Flicker's uh, do done uh, trying to you know do what he he has been very used to doing, which is taking care of others uh, to a certain extent. However, with a little bit more pleasure this time around. Uh, he he starts doing little exercises with his uh, little legs. Um, all sort all sorts of exercises, but uh, the one that he starts doing a little bit more more now is he flaps his wing wings a lot more, trying to lift himself. Hmm. <laughs> Just makes sense. Hmm. Uh. All right. Um, so in the mornings, uh, I startle awake generally. Huh. Oh, okay, go okay. ahead. Uh, Cece was already had a thing planned, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, Cece. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. Yeah, uh, it's okay. Um, Cece, as I imagine, a like goes to sleep late, wakes up early, and then repeatedly falls asleep in the early morning kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like. The area that her bed is set up in is curtained off, and it's not for privacy, it's because she keeps a lantern on, and the only way she can get to sleep is, like, furious note-taking and putting every idea in her <laughs> brain down on paper so that she can shut down. <laughs> and then gets yeah, to sleep, that, that and then she wakes up, and she's like, absolutely, especially on a rainy day, her hair explodes and is insanely <laughs> frizzy. And she is, she starts her morning with like, I feel like she's got one of her spiders at least that has a brush and has, she's taught how to clean, like brush her hair. <laughs> and she is just like half asleep, reading through her journal, like squinting at it really hard because she forgot where she put her glasses when she went to sleep. <laughs> now I'm imagining like there's a uh, cone hairs. passes out I'm... for like 10 or 15 minutes at a time. <laughs> Now I'm imagining those like those uh, those comb hairs that are on tarantula legs and just like sort of brushing your hair with them. 
<laughs> Absolutely falls asleep in the middle of eating a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's a mood. Somehow, though, at the end of like, I say about 45 minutes after she gets out of bed, she's like fully presentable and <laughs> back to her normal self. Um. Do the spiders help you get in and out of bed from the from the chair, or is that something that you have enough just have the upper body strength to handle? I think that's something that she just does herself. Okay. Mm -hmm. This makes sense. Yeah, she can probably like Cece can probably stand for brief stints, but her legs just don't work as well before anymore. We mm -hmm. stand an ambulatory queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Can't believe CC is just me. I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did you describe my my sleep schedule? Damn. It's not far off from my sleep schedule either. Damn. Mine <laughs> <clears throat> right. is Cass. a hard thing though. I either I either sleep four hours or I sleep uh, nine or ten hours. So yeah, I usually yeah. Uh... Cass goes to bed late, wakes up early, generally starts awake in the morning, takes a look around, talks to himself for about a minute, and then uh, lies back to, like, just enjoy himself. Hmm. Before, like, just, just lies there and, and luxuri luxuriates in not having to get up and go anywhere for a little while. Uh, and then, and then every the morning dreams. breakfast. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Speaking of, of breakfast, Maria made pancakes. Yay! Yay! Mouse cakes. Yes, they are small, but you get you get many of them. Cannot perceive tiny pancake. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, the, yeah. Each of them is the size of the palm of your hand, but you but you get a mountain of them. Yay! Wait, <laughs> the size of Soba's hand? The, no. the, the size of a of a uh, uh, no, uh, human hand. Okay, I was gonna say. Yeah, I, I'm imagining Soba eating like a plate of pancakes, like it's a bag of chips. Insert insert meme of that one guy that eats chips. Uh see I love moments uh, like this. I, I, I love I you know you know this, but like so many people for, forget to add this the, the level of humanity to their TTRPG characters and that, I, that's why I love encouraging it. Well Oh my god. So huh? Silva eats yes. one pancake. So he eats one mm -hmm. pancake, and she's just like, Mow. and then like her face just lights up, and it's just like, you know, in Teen Titans when Cyborg and Beast Boy just go off on like food. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm just imagining. Um. She, she, I'm just imagining she lifts up the whole table. Her her face is just like round, and half of that round shape is the mouth now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and after this happens, uh, if Maria is still preparing pancakes, Fl Flicker just offers her, "I'll help. I'll help you make more if you need it. <laughs> need it." Well, she will accept graciously. The syrup is uh, is, well, it's it's fresh maple. Mhm. Mm Sweetened with artificial with with uh, with uh, uh, additives, since you know, mm. it is fresh. But. We yes. use a lot of high fructose corn syrup here. <laughs> hey, God. Right. Oh, God. Thank you so much, Guy. I appreciate that a lot. Freerun's missing in, in Freerun. The one to make so, the, the syrup for the shaved ice. <laughs> so then, how do we want to go about the day? You've woken up. 
you've it's a comfortable but dreary day out the best kind well, mm-hmm. well I'm so well well I'm looking forward to, to seeing the new magnetic uh, a shield that Bragg p- promised me. Silver looks up to the rain and then looks to Rogalak and goes, "Fluffy one, you said that you said that the rocks control the weather. Yes. The, the rocks. The rocks. The one on post box. One on post. You're gonna have to clarify that one for me. <laughs> oh. oh, oh yes, those rocks. I believe they do. Yes, that there, there's. Sufficient evidence to believe that. Sorry, I am. I have morning brain. It sometimes I I I go to sleep confident that I'm going to be tackling the day tomorrow, and I wake up and I feel like two weeks have passed. She's I'm so, so sorry, Rodelak. So so s- sorry. Yeah, so was gonna squid, and she's going to go. So it it is, it is eight o'clock in morning. Morning was <laughs> over two hours ago. <laughs> I take a considerable amount of time to to wake up and and get my bearings together. Hmm. After the so, after the... there is a there is a, a a cornucopia of encyclopedic knowledge in the back, and sometimes the librarian in there needs her coffee. <laughs> you just like Mood. multiple like five syllable words at once, and she just like blinks slowly, just one eye and then the other, <laughs> and she goes, "Test rock." Is science, yes. I will test the rock. I'm going to test the rock with my Arcana check. Which rock? God damn it! <laughs> I mean, we have to go to the rocks to test. The yeah, rock. that's that's yeah. like that's like an hour hike. You you heading over there okay. first? I think we'll need to test the <laughs> rocks with a couple of things, and then give sufficient warning that there may be some peculiar weather patterns. Uh. Do we have someone that is a close to a weatherman in town? The wizard, perhaps? Um, honestly, the probably the, the most effective uh, weather maid you have is going to be Angela. Um, remind me where Angela is. <laughs> right next to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just imagining Soba turns to you and be like, people keep asking Soba how weather is. Also, sure <laughs> same as down there. I, I, I turn one. over and like put my hands together and gesture mm. politely towards Angela and says, Angela, uh, perhaps you could relay to the rest of the town that um, you predict there will be potential anomalous weather patterns today. Um, if they ask you how you know this, you could just say something like, I see it in the bones or something. It came to me in dreams. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Very well. I think it's just an autumn shower, but very well. Now. Summer rain. Summer rains. You can never predict them. <laughs> Silver wants no. Also, I really um... want a version of that line where you say the summer rains thing, but you get you get interrupted by like the stop sign that hit the reporter during a hurricane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I gotta find Summer rains, you cannot <laughs> play. <laughs> Gifts you can hear. Yes. <laughs> oh. Summer rain. Some uh. stay dry. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm just annoyed because the thing just randomly decided to. Hey, I'm gonna turn myself off now. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I also wanted to state uh, after you mentioned like. Uh, I, I need a long time to wake up, and then just like uh, Flicker presents to you his like <laughs> nighty night helmet. <laughs> it's not, after uh, it's not so bad after the the second the third time night shaking. <laughs> Except you're actually talking a bit too loud because of your eardrums. It's it's not that bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, I think by this point it would have worn off. <laughs> probably, probably. <laughs> but yeah, but the joke still stands. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, found it. 
Ivo. Some rains you could ever. He he would be the one that would get that treatment. All right. To glory, presumably. And uh, discretionary weather predictions. Mostly glory. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, my cat just squeaked. Aww. Oh, who's a good girl? Who's a good kid? She, she, she looks like she has not slept. Cat moments. So do you want to... Alright, so you want to spend the morning hiking back to the uh, to the stones? Probably stopping along the blacksmith for the shield along the way? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, Is that what it sounds good. like? Alright. Um. <clears throat> okay. The forge is, is running hot as, well, normal, and <laughs> the icebox is running cool. Bragg is in there uh, doing some work, and, you're, and uh, when he sees you, he immediately stops his work and, and walks over, just, just leaving a fairly hot piece, uh, piece of iron, or you know, piece, piece of, of metal, just, just there. <laughs> just leaves it on an anvil and walks over. <laughs> Hey. Morning. Morning. All right, so got this shield you wanted. He hands you a <laughs> hands you a a, uh, a what's the proper term for it again? Dang it, I forget the proper term. He he, he hands you a a kite shield with a uh, rounded top oh. and pointed bottom. Peter Shield? Peter Shield, thank you. Is that. Yeah, um. In the center is a target that is just the large uh, piece of lodestone. Smooth, smooth around into a, into a nice orb. Smooth around into an, in a beautiful orb. Oh no. Uh, yes. So sorry good? about that. It, oh, you uh, yeah, he he picks it up and he's like uh, looking at at it at it uh, on before just before uh, uh, ad admiring the craftsmanship. Oh, this is very mm -hmm. nice. Uh, then he starts like shaking a little bit and and his the uh, the helmet slash along with his head like gets attracted to the shield and. The, and the shield Bang. and uh, and his body is at uh, on the shield now. Oh yes, oh, yeah, right. Magnetism. <laughs> so, Buck, would you mind? <clears throat> She's going to just grumble and just one hand on the shield, one hand on you, and just. <laughs> Who Thank actually you. has proficiency in shield? Actually. Oh. How do I know? I don't actually. Uh, I do not. I don't even have to look. Yeah, I don't know where to check that either. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I, 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 think I'm I mean, six, okay. Maybe? You you you've been playing with me long enough to know that I'm asking which of your characters has has uh, been trained to use a shield in their story rather than actual mechanics. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just funny. like it's a thing that sent us yeah. in the direction. Like, are we proficient? <laughs> Yeah, uh, mm. <laughs> yes, for shields, I assumed you were, but I never actually thought to check. <laughs> Shield proficiency isn't a thing. Okay, so like, is, not is it tied to like I... armor or something, or can anyone use a shield? Well, technically speaking, anyone can use a shield. It's literally the easiest yep. thing in anybody the can. To... Anybody can carry and raise a sh and use the raise a shield action. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. So everyone's proficient in it. So I guess my question really is just, who is familiar with it? When Captain Sober throws her mighty shield. No. 
I like Wait, the idea I did Captain find Corbett. out though that apparently Cece is an expert in unarmed attacks for some reason. <laughs> Incredible. Have, no, that's Have you been holding out? Have you been holding out on us, Cece? I can't wait to see the Cece <laughs> just throw hands with the motherfucker. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I just... where do you where do you see that spring? Hmm? I don't actually know. Where it, it was a thing in my feet. The inventor gets inventor weapon expertise. Ah, neat. All right then. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Uh, now that he is uh, s separated from the shield and on the correct side of it, this is very this is very good work, Bragg. Excellent oh, craftsmanship. It wasn't easy to keep the magnetism. I know if you hit a little stone the wrong way, you can shatter it, or just turn it off, I guess, whatever that is. But, worked out pretty well. Say, uh, you had some thoughts before about, about heating up the forge for me, yes? Oh, oh, of course. Um, let's see, uh... I don't want to push or anything, but, uh... Oh, 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 he means the big forge. I thought... Does he? Yeah, you had, you had some, uh... Cece specifically ha had some plans about... Wait, well, Flicker and Cece yeah, both I, had plans. I had proposed building... Constructing a cold room somewhere so you can... Use it as a traditional cold room rather than using the cold room of the forge. Then you'd be able to use the cold room of the forge at a lower temperature with tanks of water to make ice instead of storing the food there directly. And you could use the ice from the cold room to chill the traditional underground cold room. Um, so that may let me run the forge hotter is what you're saying? Yes, because you'd be able to make the cold room of the forge colder. By sapping the heat from there. All right, great. I love it. Just tell me what I need to do. Well, we need to dig a room that's sufficiently sufficiently integrated, insulated in the ground. I've I've drawn up the plot the plans yesterday. I, uh, he he flicker just uh, pulls out a scroll and uh, pulls it apart uh, uh, to reveal the plans. Uh, I drew up the plans yesterday. Oh. Very good. Buffle. And then That's we can simply stuff. expand the food storage as much as is necessary for the town by taking more chambers similar to this one. It's gonna be a problem that we're this close to the ocean. Can't imagine that the water table's that, you know... ...deep. That's something that we'll have to test before we pick a site for the dig, I suppose. Alright. Well... Okay. But if we dig out the chambers and then... Dig out the chambers, tar the walls, and then lay in brick and mortar, then it should serve as a waterproof chamber. Okay. Well... I know a little bit of earth magic, not much, but it might be able to give you a start. Point me in a direction if you need me. Um, I'll keep working until you get the things sorted out then. Alright then. Well, I, unless we've done an informal right. survey of the area already, I have the supplies to do that. Oh. Okay. All right. I would have assumed that just with the town being here for so long, the survey would have been done already, but... Um, yes, you never actually had uh, looked into it. You were, you were uh, sick at the end of the last session, so we didn't really have the chance mm -hmm. to go through it. But it would have been... It, yeah. I don't even feel like a real need to, you know, like, pressure the, the, the roleplay of this part, because you'd be able to get that at the library really easy. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> And the ver uh, the short of it is that 
Um, anywhere to the south starts to get swampy very, uh, fairly quickly, mm -hmm. and even the area just you know uh, nearby to the south, the forest is super moist. But as you go uh, more inland, the trees look like they have fairly deep roots. Hmm. So yeah, isolating out an area to make basically just another cold room all about the same size as the one attached to the forge. Alright. How about here? He points on a, on a, a map to an area uh, just just east of, of Granny Biscuits. That look good. That should be good, yeah. Okay. Check with Granny Biscuits first. Yeah. Well, it's past really... Granny Biscuits' house, but... Is yeah, it on her land, though? That's Still the question. check with Granny Biscuits first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Alright. We want to make sure that we're not digging a hole in her backyard. <laughs> I'll Don't dig out a hole. That there is. That's where I. That's where I buried the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> well, he flags over uh, to, uh, to his apprentice. Uh, I'll start working on that, and I will see you later. Probably around noontide. I should be able to have a good a good front on it. Can't believe that apprentice never existed. <laughs> Excuse me. There is something. You heard me. You had me. Okay. That prince is going to go and speak to a fucking a fae, and they don't know she's a fae. I'm sorry, that apprentice is gone. He never existed. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he, he could survive. It's not impossible. Yeah, yeah he's, he's probably fine. Come out. He's, uh, he's just gonna come out with a different gender and like half of his memories altered, and also he thinks he's from a different universe where the sky's purple. <laughs> what direction was this fade? I, I need to know just to make sure I don't accidentally go there. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for directions away from there. <laughs> <laughs> now you already met the fade. You just don't remember it. That's why you have gender dysphoria in the first place. Fair enough. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I um Br Brag will start walking out to the uh to the east or west. That's the direction that is over there. West. No, we we all go the for a nice long walk off a short pier. <laughs> <laughs> you know the and other east. Walking. And they're walking. All right, and you're gonna head over to the. We're heading yes. west. West. Lousy smarch weather. Oh, I hate that smarch weather. <laughs> Is it? Do not. Do not touch Willie. Hmm. Good to know. <laughs> I think this is it. It's just good advice. <laughs> I don't no, know. I don't Dang know it. why that why that series of gags just lives in my head rent free. Rent free cuz it's the Simpsons, dude. They've got a lot of like really great quotes. Yeah, but I sometimes wonder what why my brain picks out certain ones over others. Just turn left at Sneed's feed and seed. <laughs> Wait, where is that? Dang it. That one that one actually feel, feels like a proper sh shit pose before that was even a thing. Sneed and feed. Also, uh, find. Jade. Also, Jade, I sent you a small Hello. quick message. No, that's, this is the awning. No, no, that's the forest camp. Dang it, I can't find the, uh... I can't find the shrine. Wait, here it is. Uh, Jade, I sent you a small message. Ray. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Sorry the way you said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's like you saw like a small, uh, like a very very tiny envelope, <laughs> and opened right. it. <laughs> it's, it's not bad news, not good news yet because the the letter has not been opened. News. <laughs> but it's tiny. How can it be bad? <clears throat> All right, here we go. Um, oh, it's taxes. Hmm? The letter is tax. The message is taxes. <laughs> taxes. Oh. That's how it should be bad. Roll, okay, roll for evasion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mod run that was under the rock has expired, just by the way. Mm. Oh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't talk to him, damn. We roll me. To. If you'd like to roll something, you may. Oh, yeah, we complete. I I think we were focusing on like because on the people that weren't here, so we forgot to do it. Yeah, there was well, a lot going on. Yeah. I wanted to roll something. Sweet, what do you roll? An eleven. Excellent. What are you rolling? Just something. Okay. <laughs> something, something, something. Roll. The Madron is... Yeah. It appears to be expired. It appears to um, be leaking some uh, some fluids in, into the ground around it. The ground around what? it seems to be a, a little bit more uh, cracked than uh, than before. You know, normal stuff. Oh, Let's yeah. say medicine. I use medicine on the Madron. Oh, no, wait. No, wait. I remember. I think I remember what That's happened. It's a 20 total. I, I think I remember what happened last time. The... Uh, go ahead, GD. And we'll go back to Cass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, sorry, but it's like... No, we, we tried talking to it, but it wasn't working. So I examined them and... Uh, I plucked out his weirdly vibrating crystal. Yep, yep, you have a Madron heart. Yeah. Um, oh, so yeah. We, so we did try. Just wanted to clear that up. Mm -hmm. So medicine is it then, huh? Well, no, if we... Did we cut... Yeah, why not? All right. It's a 20. Okay. There may have still been pumps active when you walked away because all of the of the contents of uh, the fluid contents appear to have been regurgitated and and spilled out. The ground where the that has touched is no longer green. What is it? It is a murky sort of brownish muddy. Okay, and so, so the, the, the plants there are not yes. great. So, but don't eat these. Oh. Well, now <laughs> I. Well, now I just oh, feel kind of sad. Wants to. Well, now and I also, just feel kind of. Sad. And also, as you get as you get in with a kilometer two of the area, it it, it does switch from rain to snow, and the temperature drops. A solid 10 degrees. Well, Soba's happy. <laughs> Ooh, didn't predict this. It would be this drastic of a change. Actually, would a dragon be cold blooded still? Hmm. Dragons there are, are like a dinosaur. And there are a few bits floating around. What kind of bits? The mud run bits. Like ah. Were they doing that before? Um, I believe you actually. Wait, whatever happened with that one, uh, Rotolak? Because you brought one with you, didn't you? 
Say again? You brought one of the bits with you, didn't you? I did, yes. What did you do with that, out of curiosity? Let's, let's, let's backtrack a, real, a quick moment and, and, and assess that, shall we? I believe what we did was we took the opportunity to place the bit into uh, the, you know, the wizard tower that we had in in town? Yeah. That we put it, I, I imagine that we put it into that thing's care and probably put it in some kind of like preservation area or like some holding tank or something like that to keep it from wandering off while we did like, while we looked into it and tried to better understand it. And I told the wizard that was there to maybe look into what this thing is and what it does. All right. But I, so but I big rock to it. Well, move now, stupid. <laughs> okay. Move, move or I will hurt you. There are a no, few bits Like, literally, literally just tied a big rock to it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really move much on its own. It will try to normalize to about a meter off the ground. If you try to raise it or lower it, it will float to about a meter off the ground. Or a meter off of whatever hard surface is below it, I should say. Oh, fascinating. So, you can lift it higher than that, but it will actually have weight, and you can push it down from there, but it will have buoyancy. Laterally, it, it, it just slides. It just sort of glides with you. These, however... Are, are, are floating around a bit. Oh. Not much. Just like an, an uh, like an idle back and forth. You could almost be convinced that it was if it was just you know like the wind blowing it around. If there was wind here, but there's not. Oh wait, did you say that the that this that they were doing this after we left? No, there were. I believe oh. you took the only one that was left when you when you uh when you did. Wait, wait. Uh, I think I might have blanked out. What are we talking about right now? The bits. There's a handful of bits here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, Yeah. okay, then it is what I was thinking about. But yeah, they weren't moving before. Unless you're talking about the bits that turned into, like, metal leaves? <clears throat> That's what happened when they destroyed, were destroyed, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I them sliding around like this. So, what are you doing here? Well... Sorry, go ahead. Change with oh, no. Make Dude, it work. Uh, go, go ahead, you, you, you start, you start. Uh, well, since we clearly want to manipulate these to get some ideal weather, I guess. Uh, I guess I can try, uh examining them to see to see if there's uh I mean I I think I, I think we examined them last time but I guess I should mm -hmm. I'm asking like uh did we like use an arcana roll on them there's no way we didn't successfully mm, I think it was a success You rolled Arcana to figure out what they did, but you didn't. Uh, but you didn't attempt to actually manipulate them, or, or well, aside from just you know investigate, investigatory stuff. You didn't try to okay. use them. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so do yeah, I? I definitely did not. Okay, I guess. Well, well, being ever the being ever the mad scientist, I suppose. I guess he's gonna try and reach out for one of them. Because at this point, it's like, well, we haven't touched them. Let's try touching now. Um, now Soba picked so, one up. Yep, yeah, Soba oh. pick, picked one up, and uh, the temperature normalized for, for a few seconds until it was placed back down. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that changes what you want to do now, but that was something that, that was oh. the, like I said, investigatory, not actually trying to manipulate directly, is it to, like, but you, you investigate, yeah, that was part of the... Well, well yeah, this is, welcome to investigation two, electric uh, touchy loo. 
uh, n now with more touching. Let's let's pick up the red one, I guess, this time. <laughs> and see what it do. Oh. Wait, where is this? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, that's just a snow creature. I can't change it. Okay. When you pick it up, um, the snow fairly quickly turns to uh, uh, terrain and it begins to warm up a little bit. Oh, well, now it's good. Well, now it's going to be soggy. Uh, I guess now he's good. Just going to do a whole bunch of motions with it. Turn okay. it around. Spin it, spin it about. Yeah. What uh, roll me something? What skill are you using? Are you uh, do you think would be most applicable to this sort of in this sort of curiosity? Let's see here. Um, I want to say uh, just just so I just so I'm not abusing Arcana and crafting. <laughs> Let's say performance, maybe. Okay. To manipulate, manipulate it in all sorts of ways to see what it, how much, it'll mm -hmm. do. manipulate, mansplain, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a fourteen. Is that good? No, it's not great. <laughs> all right, I'm a, I'm a pro in one of my coins for this one. All right. <laughs> just, it's probably not gonna end up too great. Uh, hold on, let me just type in I I used one of my gold coins last time, right? You did. Okay, so now I should be an on one if I'm going to mm -hmm. use it again. And it's a D4, correct? Um yes, gold is a D4. Okay. Well, Ooh. that could have gone better. That could have gone better. That's um, a 15. You fiddle with it, and the temperature um, just sort of yo-yos between the two. You create a little bit of sleet for a few moments and go, ooh, I think I did something. Except that, no, it was just changing it back to cold when it was warm. Just made it sleet for a few seconds instead of actually ma effectively manipulating something. All right, then let's try the other one, then. Say, say, same as before. Uh, roll performance again, I guess. Uh, before you do, is anybody else going oh. to be oh. involved in this? Okay. Uh, honestly, I think Flickr's I got this. Ignore them. Oh, oh gosh. No, no, no. Ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore that. I, I, really? I, I, you, you, I you don't think you, don't think you want to handle it? No? You, you, sh you sure? You want me no. <laughs> well, well, no, 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 no. No, as in, like, I... I rolled it, then I grabbed it midair because you said, uh, "Hold on, on," and uh, it was like perfectly positioned to like potentially hit a twenty. So that that, <laughs> that would be. No, I, I was more saying that, like, look, I, I've I have been I've been running at the front of this pack for these investigations, and I think that since we're now in the science territory, that it would mm -hmm. be appropriate for Flicker and CC to be taking the charge on this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I may be yeah. the deducer, but you are the um, the the the, the Bunsons and the beakers and the pokers. <laughs> I I I will I'm be, glad I'll we be we right have back. someone who can investigate this then. Mm -hmm. Uh, so do I roll now? Yes. Okay. Should have lied about that twenty. Uh, <laughs> seven. <laughs> Seven, it's seven plus eleven. Eighteen. All right. Um, you are able to deduce after just just purely fiddling, just good old fashioned scientific. What does this button do? Type of uh, type of fiddling on and off for uh, you know for the next ten minutes or so. You are able to deduce that the angle, the orientation of the angle of e each of the side crystals can affect the intensity and uh, the direction of, of the temperature. That is to say that the uh, uh, one side will, will um, yeah, will we'll, uh, make, uh, will control, I'm sorry, will control the, the temperature, making it uh, a little bit colder, 
and the other one will affect the precipitation, making it a little bit rainier or a little bit less rainy. Oh, is that just like some of my knob? Uh, you, you, it is. You, you... Hmm? Sorry, go ahead. The limitation is that it is a simple a matter of coldness and a matter of how precipitous. You can't seem to make it any warmer or any drier mm. than a certain threshold. Curious. It seems to have a limit. It seems to have a. It seems to have an inbuilt limitation. So I was going to lean down, and be like. Can you make it windy? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Let's give that, let's give it a try. Uh, he, and he, like, twists it in a way that, you know, he assumes would make it windy. Um, no. Oh. The last one does not have any, does not seem to change anything when, uh, when it is turned. But mm. you do not have, it does not seem to have the ability to change any wind. At least not that okay. you can figure out. Well, well, one more, one last one to properly test out uh, the mm -hmm. green one. All right, rolling performance, I guess. Roll me Arcana. Oh, or okay. cult. Uh, Arcana, please. Okay. Not today. <laughs> oh God! No, I'm not. I'm not letting that one. Not on. Not, not on this. Especially because. Especially because it's quicker, and this is a. Uh, and this is literally weather Picture control. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm. I'm using my one platinum that I got for the session. Okay. Okay. Wow, uh, but a nineteen. But a nineteen. This, at least, at least we're moving up, I guess. You know, if someone assists you, they can probably give you a plus one uh, if if they make a decent check off of it. Uh, I'll go for I'll it. CC, or CC you would you to. would you like to assist? Uh, actually, yeah, CC. Why don't you assist? Science, friend. Oh, yeah, CC will join in and <laughs> to help out where she can at least. Let's see where we can poke this baby. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> wow! Uh, team Science this is, an this is an Arcana yeah. check. Some, uh, you that feel... is a 15. <laughs> team Science Ho? You feel blocked ah. from the understanding. Ah. What? I am eating! I get plus four because of cooperative nature, so it's actually a, um, 19. yeah, 19, not a 15. Hey, better by one point. Neat. Okay. We've steadily escalated the number bit by bit. <laughs> hey, Cost, you want to tip it over the edge? Oh, boy. Yes. Okay, okay, that's a that's a mere thirty one. Is that enough? <laughs> It'll do. <laughs> All right, we're supposed to be team science. This is all. <laughs> you are able to discern through the flow of the, of uh, magic and the triangular pattern between them that the distance apart is critical to their function, but the pedestals themselves are not magical. The plates mm -hmm. that the, the, the on the very top are. You mm. postulate that the green crystal is the what of the equation, and that the two red crystals are the uh, are the details beyond it. The what in this case being cold and uh, and uh, and snowy, with the levels of precip precipitation and uh, cold are managed by the others. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Soba, can you? Yes. Do you think you could move this pedestal a bit closer to one of the others? He points to the green one. She's, she'll she'll go over. She'll try and lift the pedestal if she can. 
And the pedestal is buried very deep into the ground. It would be easier well, to remove well, that, that top plate than to move the pedestal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I meant the top plate. I apologize. I, I imagine so it much. would still be heavy. So, but just, so it pulls out her sword and she just bisects the, 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 the pedestal. Just lifts it. What is with you guys and destroying ancient relics? <laughs> hey, I didn't tell her to do that. I, look. I look so, at them. So what was told to move the thing? To move the thing. Okay. Y'all have seen Atlantis. Y'all have seen look. Atlantis, I... right? Okay, okay. We Can I... Ruins. Can I get a... Wait, the, 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 the guy, the, the, the demolitions <laughs> expert. <laughs> The demolitions expert. Okay. The demolitions okay. expert has soba energy. Like this pillar must okay. have taken thousands of years to put together. So, yeah, you don't play one like thirty second stops. So, so about you're not taking Vin you're not taking you're not taking Vinny from me. He flickers more Vinny. <laughs> you're no, not the vibe. The vibe, not the. Okay, fair oh enough. Oh my goodness. I just. <laughs> Just Rodalax <laughs> staring in abject mortification. Okay, because I was gonna try and ask. Can I? Maybe Rodalax has I flashbacks of the, of the, of the Rodalax has flashbacks of the blood rain. Can I, can I maybe do a dex check to try and stop her? By um, can I try to do a dex check to try and I mean, stop her by? So was not being subtle. As you can see, you can see her, you know, unclasp uh, un, uh, her sword and draw it. You you have a moment, you know. It's it's not like you have to jump in the way, you know. Yeah. Cause, okay. Because if that's gotta be the case, then. Uh, for, for, so I'm imagining like she's winding up and Flicker literally like jumps on the sword. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, he's, like he's hanging on it like from a monkey bar. I think Soba has the right idea. Yeah. I think I think I, I think after what ha I don't think we should just be destroying these things. Okay, counterpoint. But what if we do? <laughs> you ask Soba to move plate. Plate will not move if attached to pedestal. Plate is part of pedestal. Therefore, break plate. This honestly, like. I don't know how she's not the head of team science already. <laughs> I love this group. <laughs> so we'll have a theoretical degree in physics. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. <laughs> Between it being magical and the historic significance, I'm not sure we want to destroy these. <laughs> We've also Does witnessed it... what we've also witnessed what happens when we tend to destroy uh, lo 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 local ancient things. Yeah, yeah, but the lesson was learned the first time I, that we I demolished they, ancient like, structures. I imagine, <laughs> I imagine the entirety of Team Science is just hanging off Soba's bicep, and she's just like, "You said mailbox is not magic. Soba destroy mailbox. Mailbox can't do anything. Not touch pedestal. Just kill mailbox." Not touch, no, <laughs> not touch plate, just kill mailbox. Amazing. I suppose that what would that? work. What was that, Cass? You, you said something and I lost it in the middle of that. I oh. don't remember. <laughs> okay, never mind, don't worry about it. <laughs> it was another Gold, timeline, it's fine. Goldfish brain, the worst curse. Yeah. No, it was another timeline. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, but again, give Soba a reason not to dis not to kill the mailbox because like now she's confused. Uh I, I guess the I, I suppose the pedestal might be okay in order to move it. Uh be because as we've uh, already determined the pedestal itself isn't magical as much as the slab on top of it is. Or the plate, I mean. So, have we tried lifting the plate on top first? Without destroying anything? Jade, Jade said we couldn't. I... did? 
you did. did. You like yeah. I said that. Okay, I'll lift it, and yeah, you're like, no, you can't. It's built. I mean, you can't it's lift attached. the pillar because the pillar. You oh. can't lift the like... pillar. Okay, look, look. Okay, look. We're all dumb. We're all like okay. Fine. <laughs> so, okay, fine. Re re rewind it. Rewind it. Silva so lifts the plate. The pillar goes like two and a half meters yep. into the ground. <laughs> Yeah. So we'll lift okay, the plate. Listen. It's like a look, very unclear. I'm feeling very attacked right now. Yeah, I think so. It was uh, entirely in the right all along. So did not. I say we cut the did, thing down. Did not encourage this. <laughs> also, if I would have recommended something, since Soba can grow grow bigger and she's already strong, she we probably could have got, gotten her to lift that whole thing out there if yeah. we were really dedicated to this. <laughs> okay, the, the, all, look, the wish is right there. We could just wish Soba big. First of all, Soba oh. cannot just turn big. That's the thing I do. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, when Soba gets real big, I did that. Yeah. Oh, right. right. Can't stop um, using magic. So also, Soba can also get... Soba also will be able to get big by herself eventually. I approve of this. Yeah, <laughs> double big. Uh, in in any case, let us move the the, the heavy plates over to one of the other ones so, closer. Using so swords. Plate. So we lift plate. The left or the right one? Which one would it be, Soba? Hmm. She gonna lift the blue one. Well, oh, well, right. I mean, we. Well, well, no, no, we gotta. Uh, well, the. I imagine we lift the green one and then bring that one like closer to one of the others, but okay. Um, yeah, she's gonna lift the blue, the plinth with the blue crystal on it, and she's going to take it closer to the one on the left. Okay. It, it says green, so I was like confused. It's blue! <laughs> Alright. Um, the top is sealed to the pillar, but it is like, you know, a. a... Uh, cement to ceramics type of, type of seal that can be uh, removed like with with enough force, but it would have to be more of a precise uh, amount of force than you know. So the smash precisely. <laughs> oh, God, I I could I mean, see he just produces like some files and saws. Also, um, check chat. I put thing in there. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I'm like, gonna. Wait, I I'm feel gonna like work. I feel like this happens like everything. Like Soba smash it, no Soba. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Soba never get to smash. Uh, I really, I really do. Sometimes wish I brought uh, Goji on this expedition. Uh. So, Soba, this will be an, uh, an attack roll, but, but uh, because it will be also about the precision of trying to crack it off. Though I imagine that for the motion, well, I mean, tell me, how, you, how would you go about this? How would you go about this? So the mo so Soba like is going to heft back her sword, like she's going to just go full smash, mm -hmm. and then she hears precise, and she goes, "Oh!" She brings the sword down, and she just kind of like gets the thin end, like as close to like like into the gap. Like, just kind of wedges it in there, mm -hmm. goes around to the side where the sword is, and then just and then just kicks with all of her might, using it okay. like a pry, pry bar. Hmm. Roll it. Mm, okay, so... Shoba, super roll. Ba. Okay. So that is a... We we exhausted the dice for you. Yeah. <laughs> so that it's is a uh, twenty-two. That is a thirty-two. All right. That is successful. You managed to pop the plate off. The plate. Um. Do, I. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Just because I I forgot to um. I, you know I must not have heard it. Do you take the crystal off before you do this? No. <gasps> <laughs> so I wouldn't think of that. <laughs> Would we? See, see, so look, like picking out a file to carefully use to like get through this. <laughs> I, I think. I think 
<laughs> I think Flicker might be observing. Would Flicker have a chance of thinking of this in time? Uh, you know what? You have a chance of catching it on the way down. Okay. Sobo was told to re Sobo was told to no, dislodge no, the Sobo, plate, you're... not yeah, remove yeah. not remove the crystal. That's fair, that's fair. No, it's great. Win. Roll some combination of athletics, acrobatics, okay. something to to grab that the uh, the crystal before it hits the ground. And or the athletics. plate. Uh, hold. Hmm. Actually, what does performance encompass? Actually, performance is more of a, a um. I mean, like, you you have to convince me. That, that's yeah. What am I? What am I answering for? That's your job is to, is uh, to answer that. You you tell me how uh, performance it, it, would affect it, this. Well, usually the way I imagine performance is done is like you know it's for acting and for like, uh, performing certain things like uh, j juggling and such. So part of me is like wondering if I can use that. Be I'm also asking that because like it's higher than my athletics. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Roll it. Performance or athletics? <laughs> I, I'm just uh, double making this sure. This is up to so you. Like... Listen, I adjust the DC based on how well you justify what you're okay. rolling for it. This is okay. if, if so... you're comfortable in saying that you justify performance, roll performance. Yeah, because it's like what I'm imagining is like. He's doing it, he's rolling it to catch it, and, uh, you know, just for extra chicanery, trying to not let it slip out of his grip. <laughs> Comically. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, uh, 19. 19, okay. Ugh. Pick. So, okay, so... so wait, so, wait. So, so, wait. Hmm? Pick one. What do you mean? The plate or the crystal? The crystal. All right. You are successful in catching the uh, the crystal before it hits the ground. Uh, so, so, I like uh, he just does he just does uh, get down, Mr. President, <laughs> and turns up over CC over CC. Yeah, she's uh, like looking down at her documents and. Uh, and uh, slides on the ground. Whew. Okay. And uh, based, okay, based that's on fine. then mm. based on this question, I'm going to immediately assume the plate immediately falls on his head. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and the plate's fine. You chose well on that. If you if you if you if that was the other way around, it might have been a. Uh... You know, let's not worry about that. <laughs> well, well, in, well, in this particular instance, I mean, that just means that Flicker is probably not because the plate's heavy, and you and you hear a very and you hear a very hearty, like uh, bonk. What's uh, not not just a bonk, but uh, what's the name of the of the dish thing on a drum set? Is it just a dish? Symbol. Symbol. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. You hear, hear the, whatever noise a symbol ma makes, like a. <laughs> so Rodalak walks over to uh, to Flicker. His hands like quivering for a moment before he like flexes his fingers and closes them to like get their composure. He's like, Flicker, I um, I I would like to say that I am I am overjoyed that you are part of this scientific venture <laughs> trying to understand these um devices that we are still trying to get a bearing on how they work. However, I, I, I do, I, I must, um, as a professional and as your friend and uh, colleague, I, I must implore a, a, a trifling of criticism, as it were. <laughs> if, if you don't mind, these devices... Hmm? Sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You just want to say... <coughs> Oh no! Please, do go ahead. <laughs> as, as, as you just see him, uh, as you just like to see his mouth go up and down because he's squashed by the plate. I I understand that uh, the nature of uh, the world of mechanicery is a little bit uh, rife with uh, spilled spilled oil and a couple of tools that drop on the floor from time to time. But in 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 a in a in a academic academic 
setting. Uh, these uh, devices are what we would categorize as fragile. <laughs> so I would, I would request humbly, if if I I need not understate that, that you exercise a little bit more um, discretion when working on these. Please. Gotcha. Okay. It, you know, that well you. said and all, but here, here's the thing that we should also say. Hey, Flicker, good catch, man. <laughs> that was you. a good catch. <laughs> I, I would prefer <laughs> that the catch was not necessary in the first place, however. So possibly did what was asked. Should have been more specific. At this point, like, by this point, I imagine Flicker gets up and it's like, yeah, yet still, the plate is, like, perfectly balanced on his flat head now. <laughs> Boss, new hat. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, I think it suits me. Anyway. As long as, as long as the crystal is disconnected from the, uh, the plate, um, the temperature, uh, rapidly increases to normal, to what you would expect to clarify, not like, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not like going, it's not like going nuclear. Rapidly amplifying <laughs> and going past normal. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Yay, Magnus. We are not the frog normal. in the pot of water. <laughs> no. This is the most normal weather Soba has ever seen. It's all un unnaturally normal. Oh, no. It's unsettling. Uh, anyway. Flicker, along with the plate and the and the crystal, move over to one of the other ones. Plate still on head this whole time. If you move too and... far away from the uh, from either of the other crystals, it w it will uh, disable it. Mm. They do have to. They do appear to have to be a certain closeness to each other. Hmm. Well, so I mean, it'll just... back to town then. Hmm. I mean, I suppose it it would be it, it it's it's one of those ethical questions, isn't it? If uh, they were here this whole time and uh, no one's really disturbed them significantly, then they might be safer here. But on the other hand, uh, the people could you the people in town could you could use it to figure it out by spending more time observing it in a safer environment. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm sorry. Hello. Uh, every everything went completely dead, and I was <laughs> like, "Did internet die again?" Uh, yeah. Flickr just proposed, like, <clears throat> "Well, it's an ethical question, isn't it? Uh, we could either leave him here, wh where it seems to have probably been they've been here undisturbed for a very long time, Except at least until robots." Until recent events, yes. Or we could bring them to town where, uh, well, where the powers of these stones would be very clear. Or, the, or at the very least clear to the individuals we'd entrust to examine them. Hmm, hmm. I mean, it's free stuff, so we can just take it. <laughs> I mean, as a as a as a dra as a dragon, I should I I should should be for that suggestion. However, as a as a knight, I do not think so. You are very small for dragon. We also don't know if the uh, the device will function the same way if we move it somewhere else than if we leave it here. There might be a reason that it's been positioned in this place, ley lines or. Uh, atmospheric conditions or you know it's close to some dimensional highway or I agree that's why we should move to find out I don't know like let's just move it and see if it still works it, it is why we're experimenting what's the worst that could happen please suspect 
that also if they these were always manipulating the weather that someone in town likely would have discovered this in the years since the town has been built it is relatively close so i imagine it must be the crystals weren't all here before the modrons arrived um this is a direction that doesn't have a whole lot in it you know, unless you're going to the swamp, mm -hmm. which is not well traversed. <clears throat> and you are aware of it. Uh, <clears throat> actually, but you weren't here for that. Uh, be after you left, uh, after you uh, had to go last time, they actually did find out who the, who built the campfire. W uh, one of the rangers, uh, w w uh, head that they met during, over dinner, uh, had found this area of, like, um, uh, yeah, a little, um, like a month ago or something. Mm-hmm. It's just in a direction that's usually not traveled. They consider it yeah, a simple oddity. It's just strange to think about, like, because this town has been here for decades, right? La Lonfeld? Yeah. No. Well, I was under the impression that, like, we are part of one of many expeditions at this point. Oh. No, this is a fairly relatively new venture. This is a, like I mean, it's it's a couple years old, but it's it's a relatively new new, new uh, construction. Okay, I I was thinking it was like at least like thirty plus years. Ah, my apologies. Because this is a re this is a recent thing that's funded by elves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So recent no, that, for them that <laughs> was in my head decades. No, that makes sense. <laughs> but yes, this this had been uh, had been discovered, but hadn't brought up much note since, in in the words of the ranger, there's a lot of weird stuff out here. <clears throat> So this was just sort of a blip on on their radar. Hmm. <coughs> Soba, you want to try and dislodge the other ones or nah? Yes. <laughs> hey, so Soba, why don't we uh, move the crystals off those first? Yeah. As entertaining as that was, <laughs> I, I, I think Rodalak might try to kill us. <laughs> That has never been said, but I I would be I I I would cry at the very least before I did something I, next. I act like I'm going to throw the crystal to Rodalak. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm holding one to one of the crystals. I right, Sova. Yes. Uh, second verse, same as the first. Cece will take the crystal off the pedestal this time. <laughs> exact same, thirty-two. All right, this one comes off with a uh, with the exact same motion. Nice. And I assume you want to do the third, the last one as well. Yes. Yeah. Send it. Fucking game, please. So, I mean, that's still, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hmm. Tell me what goes wrong with this one. Oh, boy. Uh, do you have a gold one, maybe? Gold coin. So this one, a gold as coin would it, does it. Before you, before you do that, would you do you want to use any coins? Uh. Okay. Are we gonna have a fight with that this session? That's my. That, you know what? Yeah. Whatever. I'll use my. I'll use my my hero point for this one. But why not? Oh, you. you okay. You you'll win the fight. I I don't think it'll yeah. be that big one. So sure. that's still that's that's twenty three. Okay. Yeah, you're fine then. <laughs> all right, you're able to dislodge all of the plates, and you have all of the gems. Now, keep in mind these gems are roughly the size of your head, if not, you know, slightly larger. And the the plates will take, well, both arms for anybody but Soba. Mm. 
Like, it is this scale, to clarify, but... Oh, yeah. you have acquired them. I will. The rest of us will carry the... the crystals. Probably best if Soba carries the plates. Yeah, that sounds right. Right. Are you going to head straight back to town, or are you going to uh, try to stop by the dig site first? Or I mean, uh, are you even going back to town now, or do you have anything else you want to do? I think it's worth checking by the dig site. Make sure that the yeah. apprentice still exists. <laughs> and if not, well... That'll be... We tried. <laughs> he died as he lived, uneventfully. <laughs> he died as he, he lived. He died as he lived. Without a backstory for, that the GM came up with. <laughs> <laughs> Silently and without description. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, we've right. Had like at we've had like at least three or four good laughs this session. Yeah. Um, as you go by the, uh, <clears throat> the proposed site, it, you, you can find Bragg fairly easily, given that they, you know, are a very tall purple dragonborn. They kind of stand out. I do not see him. Just a little bit. Keep forgetting he's a... Where is he? He's a dragonborn. It doesn't... The the figure does not convey it that well. I'm quick. No. I'm quick. Yeah. Yeah, the armor kind of makes it... Honestly, I just thought he was wearing a helmet. He was an orc wearing a helmet. Hmm. Um, he, it's, it's somewhat interesting to see that he appears to have cast Mold Earth on his shovel and is, and is uh, using a shovel to excavate with, uh, uh, and shape uh, the ground uh, as, it, as some sort of, like, in the same way that uh, a pastry chef will use a small spade to shape frosting. Hmm. Sure the the molder spell effectively giving the giving the ground the pliability to respond to the implement. It looks like it's a good chunk of the way done, considering you had to you know, you had an hour hike there and back. It is probably roughly noontide now, or at least that's, in the in the ballpark thereof. That's a very. I take it there were no problems with the acquisition of the site then. No, nope. We're just a stone's throw from the from the main road over to the Gripley Lands too, so it'll be a good sight. Just need to reinforce a bit more. It should only take me another half hour or so. You work. You that mold earth. That mold earth technique is uh, s seemingly do doing you quite quite a lot of uh, use. Yeah. Thanks. Most blacksmiths uh, where I come from know something of it. Not like a family secret or nothing, but it gets work done. Hmm. I would be interested. I would be interested in uh, you sh sh showing me, show me how it works. Yeah, sure. I've, I've never dug a foundation myself before. Uh, he shows you some uh, some of the magic. It, it, the way he casts it, it would make anybody who's actually studied in magic flinch. It is like very, very cr you know crude, but Here, effective. CC <laughs> definitely cringes slightly. <laughs> Fl flickers yeah. like whatever gets the job done. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Roll At one point in time, this was a spell that she wrote a dissertation on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, y'all even see Soba flinch. <laughs> but you cannot deny the results. Um, <laughs> I just nod approvingly. 
but yeah, he, he shows you what he does, and yeah, like well, a, it, it, it is crude, and you can and you can think of a dozen ways that it could probably be done better. Mm-hmm. You can't deny that it is working for him, and he and uh, the, the spell, even though even if he has to recast it every every twenty minutes or so, it is still is technic is, is technically on the shovel. So he got that part right. <laughs> uh, well, as long as we does. don't need to be, you know, babysitting it for for that long, I think it should be fine. I and hope. and like Mold Earth would also let you lift, you know, uh, l- large amounts of, of Earth uh, effortlessly. But he's big enough that he doesn't care about that. So like the the, the fact that he is still lifting the Earth is completely immaterial to him. Flicker makes a note of this regardless. And his uh, chicken scratchings. <laughs> and yeah, it's a few oh, minutes yeah. off it in in this direction. Down uh, uh down the road in the uh to the well, I guess dragon yeah, scratching. <laughs> Well, by the time you get back here, this part will be done. Alright then. Um, have you already acquired the pitch that you'll need for sealing the room? Yeah, I should be here soon. Quartermaster did not so want to let it go. So break and everything is all prepared? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Promised the quartermaster that uh, we'd be able to make things twice as fast. It's it's a lie, but you know what? It got us the pitch and it got us the brick. It also does open up our ability to scale food storage, so it should help a lot. And it'll and it'll improve the fort. The forge's capabilities on top of it. Here's open. Indeed. Okay, let's okay, let's bring these ba- ba- babies back to town. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. You'll what actually Portal will unleash uh, act by accident next. Yeah, and on the way back to town, you actually pass uh, a part, uh, a cart of uh, some building supplies. Uh, clearly on its way over to him. Can I get perceptions? Absolutely. Sure. What do my dragon? No reason. Just wondering. <laughs> Natural mm. twenty. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so fears. I rolled one wow, time rolled today. The... Wow. I I'm rolled gonna, a thirty. I'm gonna... So by I have a 19 on her dice. I see it. I see a dirty 20. Um, <laughs> actually, no, not a dirty 20. Uh, uh, it's nine plus eight. Uh, and 17. Nine. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, 23 for me. All right. Well, um. Oh. My, minor good news out of character. Uh, my laptop yeah. is coming back. Yay. It's only been three Yay. months. Oh, jeez. Is that a normal amount of time for a laptop uh, I, to go missing? Uh, it was getting repaired. They had to replace the motherboard, but for some reason they thought it would be cool to delete all the data on my hard drives while they were doing that. No. And I don't know if... I don't know if they actually did that or not. They just said that they were planning to. Oh Jesus. no! Uh, like, oh, who, who does that without the owner's permission? Uh, huh. Sorry. Completely uh, irrelevant. But like, I just saw a dinosaur in a box. <laughs> what? There's a dinosaur in a box. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, put that in there. I forgot about this. Did you... Did... Did you do this, Dictator? Yeah. Yeah, when Why? I made the map. Because... Where else are you going to keep your dinosaurs? <laughs> I... 
spirits preserve me. Hey, CC and Rotolac. And I like dinosaurs. Duh. You know, this is actually, uh, it, it, this is actually the first time that you've ever seen uh, Granny Biscuits outside of her house. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, this oh, has been a, Isn't she like sitting on the porch watching of, them dig or something? This has been a um, day of firsts, hasn't it? Just, just <laughs> outside, ca casually, um, sitting in a tree branch as if it, uh, swaying back and forth as if, as if it were a rocking chair. Not close to the, uh, like, not close either. Like, not close to the house? Uh, not close to, well, not close to the house and not close to the dig site, but within line of sight of it. Hmm. Uh, Liquor leans into uh, Rodilac. Should we be concerned? Not specifically where that tells you. <laughs> Which I, I imagine you will, but... Sounds like he's tiring. Hop, hop, hop. That's a little concerning. Am I missing something? Meow? Mm. No, that, that, that was it. Yeah, Cece just like nudges Rotolac gesturing and that, that's a little bit concerning. <laughs> yeah. Um, should we, uh, should we do something about this? Well, we could go ask her. I've... Hopefully. Kind of been just trying to stay out of her way as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we we could go. I could go ask her. All right. Uh, he gives I'll go you with. His, he, he 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 gives Rodolak his crystal, just in case. I guess he, uh, him and uh, Flicker and. Kaz, go over there. Uh, <coughs> he goes up to the tree un underneath her, and uh, goes up. Uh, Hello, Granny Biscuit! Oh, hello there, dearie! Uh... What are you, what are you, uh... doing up there? Just getting some fresh air. Watching them work. It's uh, meant to be the new, uh, the new, the new, uh, uh, what's the word? Ice box. It's new a ice room, yeah. Ice room, I believe. Mm -hmm. Ice room, yeah. New ice room for f food storage. Yes, oh. the the inventors and I indicate. Uh, Flicker next to me and Cece back over there have uh, come up with some interesting things. Oh, well, isn't that nice? I mean, yeah, if you think so. so uh, <laughs> was there a particular reason that you felt a need to come out to watch this? Well, it's not common that you do any work outside the heroes. I figured it might just be pleasant to watch. After all, I don't get out that much these days. God, inside. <laughs> inside. <laughs> Roll it. <laughs> uh, I wish I could. <laughs> uh, do I. Uh, I want to say maybe like roll perception to uh, <coughs> if I can L.A. Noir her out her face. I, mean, I I would usually file um, insight under a society roll, but you can ah. certainly roll whatever you want if you can justify it. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I'll I'll take a society for this one. <laughs> it's the, one of the things I'm good at. Uh, like I said, it, it's not, sometimes like uh, when I hear some of the names that these roles are for, um, I don't correlate them with certain things. So then, yeah, I would have taken society had I known that was the option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, finally, uh, fourteen plus fourteen, uh, twenty-eight. She seems genuinely curious. Okay. Uh, well, I I suppose we'll. Uh... Granny, you do you want? Uh... More... Are you interested more in the construction or how it's being constructed, or just? watching the construction happen. Oh, I enjoy watching the construction happen. Now, how have you been? Have you been eating enough? I think so. Well enough. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Oh, you, you don't look need like skin and bones. <laughs> if you ever need some, if you ever need a good meal, you always know where I am. I can fix you up something right proper. Oh, nice yes, man. Tell me, does he know how to use that shovel? No. No. Yes. <laughs> but it works for him. It does. It does at that. It's not wrong if it works. Hmm. Well, I remember you said that. My motto. That's been my motto for a while. Yeah. Her, 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 her response to Cass. I'll remember you said that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Granny Biscuits will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh. Now, you've been gallivanting all across the whole world now. I think it's time that you settle down. I think I've got a little bit more gallivanting to do. It's just so I, I dangerous out there for people. I, I still have to prove my worth. Sobra has not found girl or boy to like. They have to beat her in combat first. No one has done. Those may be things you want, but think about what you need. Right now, oh, fuck, I have a thing I can say. Your channel, but... my game, my game, your channel yellowed. Sorry, but I my... couldn't hear either of those. <laughs> I, uh, how about you go first? Uh, you know, what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. And Jake could just cut it out of the vod later. What Soba need is someone stronger than her who can throw her over shoulder. I say, well, the thing that we've been needing right now have been answers, but you know, what value are answers if you don't take the effort to find them? Ah. I thought you were going to say what value are answers so someone can't throw you over their shoulder. What, what, is, a, what is a quest without ri a riddle? <sighs> Like it's just a quest. You can definitely tell that, like, as he like smiles ingratiatingly, like in the back of his head, he's like, "You have been obtuse every single time we've run into <laughs> you, and I'm getting tired of it." You know, wait. I'm, sometimes wait, wait. I'm afraid that answers won't put a good meal in your stomach. But that doesn't what leave me any less satiated. What if job to get money to get food is based on finding answer? Hmm? So, but so we just like turns to Rodalag and just gives him like the like the double thumbs up, like. <sighs> the, the uh, the bow that she is swaying on just sort of of fades into a branch 
that is uh, swaying in the wind. Did you just Batman us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> As Rodalak is like uh, the the smile disappears from Rodalak's mouth, and he just kind of adjusts <clears throat> his cloak. He goes, "Anybody else getting fatigued by these interactions with Granny Biscuits?" No. <laughs> I find her very. I find no. Her very also, refreshing. what does fatigue fatigue mean? I oh okay. I post, <laughs> oh, po posted something in your world. Uh, that that's Granny Biscuit right there. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I never I never tire of that meme. It's a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those things where it's like Grant you're you're sitting there enjoying your porridge and Granny Biscuits come up and it's like Oh, are you enjoying dinner? It's like, uh, yes, Granny Biscuits. I've just finished all of my porridge. Oh, dear. And then she walks away with no further uh, elaboration. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck do I do with that? We gotta, we have, we, ha we have to form the Fave Busters at some point. Megus, I have to ask you, please, to not kill Jade. <laughs> No, no, no. We'll just we'll just turn into the Fae Busters. Flicker and Cece will make a, make something, and we'll just bu bust because busting makes us feel good. <laughs> oh, especially that's... Soba. Soba loves busting. No, <laughs> busting makes me feel good. <laughs> busting makes me scream. What? <laughs> Let's, I am confusion. Let's, I let's drop confused. this line. I don't think there's any productive way that this could end. I have no idea what's going on. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. It's another one of those things of, like, a thing that's being said can also mean another thing in a very different context. Is this, like, a uh, music I lyric know. or something? Uh, Jade, yeah. I'll send it to you after. Wait, okay. Jade, there's no way. Shut up. What? What? There's no way what? you do not know Ghostbusters. Yeah. Oh, is it Ghostbusters right, but... reference? Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. also, it's not I... just a Ghostbusters reference. It's a Niels to Siriga reference. Yep. <laughs> yep. I, I will. I will play that. I will play that for. Oh, I've. I will play that after this. I. I promise. Uh, Niels to Siriga I... is the the artist that used to go by the name of Lemon Demon. Did oh. the ultimate yep. showdown also song. Did, yeah, oh, also I've heard that Puppet one. And, and their their recent stuff is something else. <laughs> the ultimate sh the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny. Yeah, they've mm -hmm. they, 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 no, Neil that's a reference again. Himself, Neil Cicerega reinvents <laughs> himself every couple of years, and every time you're like, okay, what are you doing now? You <laughs> Very creative individual. I will individual. play you some clips when you're done. It's 1984. I okay. buy tickets to see Ghostbusters in Dune. It's 2021. I buy tickets to see Ghostbusters in Dune. It's 2024. I buy tickets to see Ghostbusters in Dune. <laughs> not, not increase in, in aggressiveness made that. Yeah. Very good. All right. Uh, so. Here, here is important information about Nis Neil. <laughs> I sent it oh, that, that. that. No, that that I'm I, that I know. That's that I'm familiar with. That is the most important, clearly. <laughs> yes. Agreed. I don't know why, but a rat with the name Neil just fuck kind of lands it for me. <laughs> is that a rat Shout or something to... else? Shout out to that rat, though, for real. It's oh, a wait. good rat. He's in, he's in his element. He's naked and not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> he's hydrated. <laughs> All right, That's so barely right. <laughs> I just want to put us a little bit back on track. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. no, fair. 
I, I, I think we, I think we've exceeded the timeout. <laughs> Are you returning to town, or are you just going to stare at that branch forever? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, we're returning. <laughs> it's a really nice branch, okay? It, it is. <clears throat> Man, if only we had a druid, then they could be a branch manager. Hey. <laughs> Jokes. Uh -huh. So we, we okay. should probably stop in with the mayor still. I hate how much um, I love that joke. I hate how much I love that joke. And we could also stop with the the wizard in the building, if that's someone that we'd like to share these crystals with. I imagine she'd probably have more insight into them than anyone else in town. This is you, science people stuff. I'm I'm happy to just help. Yeah, so this is very firmly magic. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you doing magic. It's science. It's, this is science. Any sufficiently advanced magic is indistinguishable from science. <laughs> <laughs> if it All has I know math, is if you're interested in it. It's science. Math is math. <laughs> math makes super brain. Hurt. Disagree. Hard disagree. Well, I mean, Flicker wouldn't know. He's terrible at math. He's he's just a prod prodigy. <laughs> he he can put things together and not know how how he did it. All right. So you know about go by the mayor's office. Yes. Yes. The mayor's office. That's right. The round block goes in the square hole. <laughs> Oh boy! Ooh. Sorry, just trying to flick. Oh god, I, I I hate that one. I hate that one. <laughs> what? That one's classic. It's classic, but I still hate it. It's like that's not how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> oh, I mean, okay. I, I get why you hate it now. That's understandable. I mean, obviously the failures on like the. Is on like the maker of the thing, but still, you still technically solve it. It's in. It's in there. I mean, it does go in the square hole. Factually. Mm -hmm. Factually. You go in the mayor's office, and you yep. see his uh, his secretary, just parchmenting away with uh, with a quill. Parchmenting away with the Jade. I'm yeah. gonna slap you. I know what I said. <laughs> well, those were all words. I, I, I can verify <laughs> okay. that those were all words. They were cromulent. So, someone, <laughs> someone bring out the five dollar words. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got these on discount. <laughs> hey man, you know, you say cents. that. You say that as like those those five dollar words, but then there's like those those really small ones that are are ill spoken very frequently, where you have to pretend like you know it because the phrase is small enough, like duvet. <laughs> How do you not know what a duvet is? <clears throat> I, uh, I know what a duvet is. They are. They are, they are uh, 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 I only learned what a duvet was maybe two or three years ago. Yeah, like it's, it's not as what common I... a phrase. So there's opportunities where someone's like, and this is here where you lay out your duvet and you want to make sure that the duvet is given the proper space. And you need to make sure that you feed your duvet every now and again. It's like, okay, at that point, I know you're screwing with me. Uh, I know. <laughs> all I know is what I a mean, bidet is. For all I know, I could have been a bird. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that duvet is a fantastic song, okay? It's the opening what for Serial you... Experiments Lane and I love it. Yeah. What do you yeah, what do you true. put on your beds if it's not a du uh, you are blanket comforter? No, a blanket, blanket is too thin. Sheet. Blanket. I'm My blanket wrapped up okay. in blanket right no. now. It, no, it goes no, sheet, no. blanket, comforter. No, it goes sheet. No, it go. Oh my god, it goes fitted sheet, loose sheet, duvet. Y'all are insane. Y'all are sociopaths. <laughs> no, my... You put a fitted sheet on your bed? No, my bed, it's bed, it's bed liner, and mm -hmm. then sheet, and then blanket. Liner, fitted, 
then sheet, then a weighted blanket. Y'all are y'all are sociopaths. <laughs> for, for me, for me, it's uh, mat- it's mattress protector, then fitted, mm-hmm. th- then uh, fitted sheet, then uh, then blanket, then comforter. Did I, did mm-hmm. I hear fitted ease? <laughs> I think it's just we have a lot of sheets. words that mean different things that we all use in different ways depending on region. True. That's not possible. So, like, there's, there's the mattress, and then there's, mm-hmm. like, the, the white, like, protector thing that goes yeah. over the mattress, mm-hmm. and I then there's the, 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 the... Then there's the, um... The mattress cover goes on top of that. The mattress liner goes over that. And then there's the sheet that goes on top of that. And then mm-hmm. there's the blanket that goes on top of the sheet. Mm-hmm. That makes sense to me. Y'all crazy. <laughs> like, my, my blanket that I'm wrapped up in right now, because it's a cold season blanket, is like a great big fluffy fuzzy furry blanket. I do not need this. I am like on the verge of just falling asleep. <laughs> I don't I don't need this EP blank blanky talk. Also I think it cut out. No, you're fine. Okay. Okay. Also, uh, also seeing like Jade on the on her stream, and she just looked like she fell asleep. <laughs> and now it's just like her AFK thing. What it's happens the... when she's had enough of us <laughs> and her shenanigans and her chicanery? <laughs> Why? Well, spa. Wow. Oh boy. Wow. Alright, so, 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 so. We made it as far as the mayor's house. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got derailed by blankets. <laughs> Which I completely like, understand. Blankets and, e- and EP talk. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You have the floor. I think I might have another hour in me, potentially. Okay. Alright. Are you gonna, like, go talk to the secretary? Are you gonna kick down the mayor's door again? Or are you gonna go upstairs? What are you gonna do? Kicking the door seems fun. <laughs> let's, door ask kicker. The, let's ask the secretary <laughs> about getting in there first. Uh, yeah, let's we'll see if she up. wants us to kick the door down. <laughs> Actually, I like the idea that, like, we have this whole nice conversation and that, like, with her about go- getting in, she tells us no. Oh, uh, Flicker says, I understand. We cut to just so so <laughs> by, so by, not even kicking. She's just, like, walking yeah. forward with her hand stretched out. Uh, <laughs> And uh, the do- and there happens door to be a door in the way. <laughs> okay, they said no kicking. Headbutt. <laughs> Technically, Soba following rules. <laughs> Should have been more specific. <laughs> oh. oh, neat. All right. So, what are you doing? We, you know, go talk to him. Say words. We just have to, I assume you're just standing. You know. Uh, yeah, we. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we found these three magical, uh, these three shiny rocks. They do stuff. Don't tell the mayor <laughs> about the shiny rocks. I thought that's what we were here for. No, because he's going to steal them and send them back home, and then it's gonna fuck up the weather. Yeah, no, we, oh, right. we were going to show them to the wizard here. And we were going to address the mayor because he was going to be paying his bribe today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Then we were going to throw him into yeah, uh, into something. I don't know. I know we were here to show those to someone. 
like I said, I'm well, kind of... that's fine. As long as you know that we're here to show them to someone. Yeah, show them to the wizard, then de defenestrate the mayor. <laughs> oh, oh, that's another—that's another, that's okay. another two-dollar word right there. So you, you just walking by the uh, by the secretary, headed up to the uh, wizard's office, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You go up to the wizard's office, and it is um, every bit as, as uh, creepy as you remember. All the dolls on uh, on shelves on the wall, going uh, all around the circular room. <laughs> One at one of them at a time will turn and uh, turn and whenever whenever the, uh, and speak when, whenever she says something. And just says, "Hello and welcome back." Ah uh, yeah, uh, we we ran, we discovered these uh, we discovered these crystals. Well, it's not far from town. They seem to manip help manipulating the weather. Really? May I see them? Of course. Uh, these plates seem to be cor correlated to them. They also can't be. They also can't move away. Uh, up until they can only be moved away up until a certain distance too. Hmm. She gets uh one one of the puppets hops off of a shelf and. Waddles o over over to you to, to, uh, to and rests a hand on one of the gems. Interesting. Do you think it would work here? We have a running theory that uh, the, it wasn't so much the place that found on them, but like their positioning and these plates. So that's why we're see. here to try out. Well, thank you for informing me of this. So tell me, where have you found them? Oh. So, uh -huh. in... oh, go ahead. As uh, you just see, um, like uh, right now, we're still trying to ascertain about those kinds of things, but we're right now we're still figuring out uh, the stones themselves. So. Hold on, who did this? I love it. Who did what? On the other side of the of the mayor's office. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> I did that about three weeks, three sessions ago. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, I actually never saw that. <laughs> I've, I've left one of those on every map, wondering when you'd find one. I found a handful of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Your hand is very Did good writing with your mouse. Wait, what? Your handwriting is good writing with the mouse. Or is that... Yeah. 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 I had to do that a lot growing up, so I got pretty yeah. good at it. Hmm. Oh, wait. Sorry. Do go on. I apologize for that. Oh no! I I said what I was gonna say. Continue. Uh, could you repeat it? I got distracted. <laughs> I was saying that we we're trying to like uh, eat, eat, uh I I kind of tap like lightly on Flicker's shoulder, as if to indicate, you know, maybe not indicate where we had found it from in case like they decide to start going there and start some crap. Okay. At least for the um, time being, as he says, we're still trying to like ascertain a lot about uh, where these came from and stuff. Right now, the function of these is what we're trying to figure out what to do. Mm-hmm. Very well. Hmm. And you say it controls the weather. Well, that's the running theory. The magic in them seems exceedingly faint. Far too faint to be able to do such a thing. Perhaps it's an amplifier. A refracting lens, as it were. Can you show me? Well, the, the, most of the magic was in the plates, yes? Not the crystals themselves. Oh. 
She she's and uh, has inspected both plates and the crystals. I assume. I assume you show the both plates and the crystals at the same time. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cookie, I thought we had only shown the crystals so far. Ah. No. No. We showed the plates too. Okay. Cool. Like, or at least Flicker did. Yeah. After a handful of, of uh, uh, after a handful of seconds of of investigating them, the doll drops to the floor, and another one hops off the shelf, picks that with the first one up, and puts it aside, and then starts inspecting the plate. So while hmm. she's doing that, like just because someone said something, Soba's got an idea and starts looking around for any any shiny rock in the wizard's room. Because wizards love shiny rocks. <laughs> <laughs> This is yeah, true. This is a known thing. There is absolutely a shiny rock right right next to um, the uh, lectern with an open book on it and the uh, the uh, collection of ambulix. You know, standard wizard stuff, right? What color is shiny rock? Uh, purple. So we will pick up the purple crystal. And then... Uh... She's going to go over to the plate to the plate that the green crystal was on, and switch. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. You haven't actually set. Okay, well, you haven't actually set up oh. the plates and w with the crystals on them yet, right? Oh. You have you? Oh yeah. Dobo will put the purple rock on the crystal where the green one was because I'm assuming they all are different. I mean, no nothing happens. Nothing happened before, and it went, well, unless all the plates were set up and all the crystals were on them. And we put other crystals on the other plates. And she's just gonna ask that. Oh, I see. No? Hello? Hmm? No one said anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Sobo was asking if they could put the other the, the red crystals back on the other plates and see what happens now that with because someone brought it was like is it the crystals that are magic or are the or is it the plates and Sobo's brain immediately went to go find another shiny rock. Uh, you know it's worth trying, right? <laughs> and so she found a purple one. All right, you want to try it? Yes. Go for it. So, so you're going to see. set up the plates? You go. You're going to set up yeah, the apparatus, so if you as it were. Yeah, Soba puts the red the red stones back on the plates where the red stones go, but the green stone, because you keep saying is green, even though it's blue, like she replaces that with the purple shiny rock that she found. Um, nothing happens in that configuration. You haven't you haven't actually set it up as normal uh, yet, oh. right? Can can we set it up as in the triangle like it was? Yeah, you just put the plates on the gr on the ground a few paces apart and put the rocks on them. Yeah, but I, that's it, what I was assuming that so, when I said Soba was saying Soba was setting them up, that's what I assumed that meant. Ah, okay. I was I, confused. And that, I was okay, like, okay, okay. Sorry, I was asking for clarification on that because the moment you do that, the entire room becomes Im unbearably, impossibly cold until the windows shatter outwards and uh, and uh, the area around the uh, the tower turn, uh, turns to snowfall. Wait, why is it snowing again? There's a different rock. No, no, if you set it up the original way. Yeah, but like, I, I said, yeah, original way. I, I know, way, I, but except... I'm, we're backtracking because okay. I didn't because I didn't track oh. that you guys had actually done the pro the the quote-unquote proper setup for it. The okay, one that I'm you know gone. worked. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm that's sorry, fine, I'm you're fine. I, I just wanted yeah. to make, because I wanted to make sure that I, that you had gotten this narrative beat first. Okay. Yeah, and then... Sobo will switch the rocks. Switch the, 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 the blue rock with the purple rock. When you switch it, it deactivates. Oh. Okay, rock is magic. Okay. That's right. You can see her, like, she. you can see her just, like, idly moving to just put the green rock back on. <laughs> Just fascinating. <laughs> it's not in. Some sort of amplifier, you say? I wonder. You think it maybe has to do with how far they are off the ground and we're way too high off the ground here? 
That may be. It is drastically colder in, in here right now than it was when you were in the clearing. She, uh, she does not seem to notice whatsoever. If straight yeah, and cool. rock were needed for effects, maybe the other rock that do other weather? Maybe. Keep an eye maybe. out in your travels. I shall ask around town. So, maybe, maybe for, for now, while we're talking about it, we can take the crystals off. <laughs> Actually, yes, that would be a good idea. She, oh. she seems she's she's confused. If it takes it takes the rock. She's like, "Oh, there's only negative five Celsius. Not that cold." Half the town is. Well, I was not dressed for this weather. <laughs> you know, we I will point out, Soba so is wearing like cold <laughs> co compared to CC. Soba's wearing nothing. Like like Soba's outfit is like she's wearing sandals and shit. And it, you have no indication that she dressed any differently when she was back on the mountain. <laughs> also, this is affecting the areas outside of this, the outside of the tower, mind you. <laughs> this is fine and safe. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we want, do we want to stop it here and continue on next time? You flag in there, buddy? Yeah, like, uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't sleep and my sleep schedule is somewhat normal, so that means body is telling me to go to sleep around this time. All right, normal sleep schedule, braggart. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... Look at this nerd a... with a circadian rhythm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine being such a jerk. I, I hate the fact that I also seem to be like at my most productive after midnight or so. I don't know why that is. Probably because it annoys like... you. So we're gonna backtrack and do the um, the forge stuff on on this game day, right? But I want to sort of do a preview flash forward, if I if if I may. Sure. Will you be? Flash How will you be? How will you be handling the events of the evening mm. with the mayor? I mean, the mayor was still needing to get reports from us, yes? The mayor was scheduled to have a meeting with the, um, with the, right. uh, with the, with the, with the Kenku. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, yes. Mm -hmm. I imagine that we might want to stake out for that one, like at least listen in. So what leads forward? Skenko near town? And like there's just like a there's just like a small amount of glee in the voice. You know this glee. <laughs> uh well, Soba. Yes. You see any blackbirds around here? Uh do I? Uh, Jade, was this a survive? Is this a survival investigation perception? What is it? Well, right now I just want to set uh, set the setting because I just, this is a quick okay. uh, flash forward. So I want to get the idea of what you guys will be doing this evening. Okay. Well, I guess we're staking out the staking them out. The stake. That would yeah. yeah. So, <coughs> so I guess I was keeping an eye out for any blackbirds. Okay, so you're gonna stake out and uh, and wait for, and sort of like uh, track them, uh, follow the mayor. Is that it? Yeah, and so I was yeah. gonna specifically look out for any spy birds. Uh, okay. Regardless of whether it's survival or perception, that's double twenty four. So I'm just gonna right. file that away. In a clearing nor uh, north of town, you are you ab are able to follow the uh, the mayor, um, as he goes with a fairly large cart of goods, supplies, and valuables. And in the clearing, you do see th uh, three Kenku. And at the moment that, uh, that, uh, that you rec uh, see them, one of them turns, and their face immediately goes long, and if it could go pale, surely it would, as you recognize 
the the, uh, the same wizard and in fact the same trio that you've already met before. Oh, I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna just go ahead and put Ooh. in the chat uh, Soba's response. Hmm. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So I, we will go back and do the uh, the forge stuff when we get. Uh, but I, I wanted to set that up. You know, I, I was oh, I was expecting us to get mm -hmm. the forge stuff to, uh, today, and that would be where we would close on. Mm hmm. But yes, <laughs> I just want to set that up as a, as a, as a I don't know what, what's the right right word teaser. Wait, wait, wait. Went wizard. Oh, cliffhanger. Is that pancake? That's pancake. Pancake. What? what pancake? What? It's pancake. Where? Who? Not not the that pancake. 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 The the, oh. pa the pancake that uh, oh, yes. Soba made. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, this is my response okay, to them. It took me a second to realize. Hey guys. <laughs> Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> I gotta say, I was not expecting some of the words that started say it started saying when I clicked play on that thing. Yeah, yeah. It was supposed to. It was supposed to have a uh, have a timestamp, but I guess the timestamp didn't copy. I don't know. That happens. I gotta, I gotta rewatch that. Don't, because in... you'll just get sad that they never did the Boo Saga. I mean, they kinda did. Yeah, What's but like... The PFS? I should I, also, I also probably... I should also yeah, I probably so, give, like... I should also probably give, like... Dragon Ball Z in general, like, the proper mm. look, but... I always... I always had, like, a... Fractured relationship with it, in the sense of, like... Mm. I never saw the whole thing. I'm also gonna add, like, they haven't had, like, a good series since they ended it, so, like, it's just gonna make you sad. Well, <laughs> no, I, well, I mean, I did just want to go through the 90s stuff anyways. Mm. Mm. Alright, I am going to, uh, wrap my stream here. Yeah. Okay. Thank yep. you all for joining, this has been a delight. What do you guys think, you know, before you do, what, what did you think of the session? Uh, I like the little fun. morning routine thing, even though I wasn't even though I felt like I didn't think of anything good. <laughs> so, no, I mean, it's not about, like, trying to think of anything good. It's about what fits your character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, that that's pretty much what I'm referring to. I, I feel like I could have uh, figured out a little, something a little bit more. The alarm clock helmet was funny. Yeah, yeah it Thank was. You. I've done stuff like that here and there, and I really have noticed that on sessions where we do something like that, whether it's, you know, simple, a simple meal or walking around, you know, uh, the Kenku village, when I do actually have some small personal thing at the at the beginning, you guys get more into, um, how to phrase, more into a role playing mindset instead of a gaming mindset. So I think I want to more focus on that. Yeah, a big aspect of that is that like. Um, oftentimes, this game has been very more about solving the mystery and focusing on the roleplay aspects. That, like, when we start the game, it's less about we have a clear goal as to what to do. So it can turn mm. a little bit nebulous. Yeah. It's a problem that I have in one of my other games that I'm, I'm a part of, where we'll start the game and we're like, all right, what are we doing? And then the DM's like, well, whatever you want. We have all these intrigues going on. And a, a lot of, uh, some of us at first are like, okay, we got to get ourselves like in the headspace and figure out what we're doing again. So we have like our, our debriefing segment before <laughs> we start getting into the weeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Granted, it makes... also makes, granted, it also depends on what, like where the party is at in at, at the moment of the game. Mm -hmm. And where the players are at emotionally when they come into the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I I am emotionally violence. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was a little like. 
recovering for what I didn't mm -hmm. get last time and for what I got last time and also completely forgot because mm -hmm. fun. always fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's I, a I... very... brain fog is a very, very delicate way of putting what it is. Mm-hmm. I like the way a... you guys... I like the way that you guys handled the, uh... Uh, the, the crystal stuff. Hmm. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I've noticed that, like, one problem that I have frequently is that I, I, I tend to, like, take charge a little bit too much, which is why I was like, okay, why don't you do this? Mm -hmm. And he learned a very valuable lesson in uh, <laughs> delegation, in that maybe it's not always a great idea. Without a little bit of supervision. <laughs> it's it's frequently a fantastic idea, but not always. <laughs> part, of the problem is that sometimes, part of the problem is that sometimes it's like the way I imagined it is is that the thing was for some reason, I don't know why I guess, that the that the thing was constantly floating so long as it was above luck above the plate. So I figured mm -hmm. it, uh, so I didn't really take it into account. Otherwise, I probably would have mentioned that we should probably take the crystal off or something. That's where my mind was at. <laughs> A reasonable place for mine to be. No, it's really not. Not mine. Okay. <laughs> then it's a terrible place for mine to be. I don't know. <laughs> It's a <laughs> mine's a terrible thing to waste. A good thing I don't have one. A waste is a terrible thing to mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Waste that note. is definitely terrible to mine. On that note. Good night, chat. I hope you have a wonderful time. Bye, chat. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.